Welcome to Practice English with Cindy. In today's lesson, Sarah is going to tell us a story about her best friend Grace. Listen carefully to the story and afterwards we will go over some vocabulary and interesting phrases. Lastly, we will have a question and answer session to check your listening and understanding skills. Let's get started. My best friend. I'm Sarah and I'm going to tell you about my best friend Grace. Grace and I have known each other for over a decade now. We first met during our freshman year of college in an English literature class. Grace sat next to me and we struck up a conversation about our favorite books. From that moment on, we just clicked. Grace is a very beautiful woman. She is tall and elegant with long flowing blonde hair. Her eyes are a mesmerizing shade of green and her smile is so warm it can light up a room. Just like her name, she has an effortless grace about her, as if she was born to command attention. Grace and I love spending time outdoors, whether it's hiking in the mountains or strolling along the beach. We're also both avid readers, so we often swap books and discuss them over a cup of coffee. Our love of reading is what brought us close. However, we do have different tastes in books. My favorite book genre is mystery, but Grace prefers romance novels. In addition to our shared love of literature, we also enjoy exploring the culinary delights of our city. One of our favorite pastimes is trying out new restaurants and experimenting with different cuisines. Grace has an adventurous spirit when it comes to food, always eager to sample new flavors and dishes. Her enthusiasm often encourages me to step out of my comfort zone. Together, we've sampled everything from authentic Thai street food to spicy Indian cuisine. While Grace and I share many similarities, there are also notable differences in our personalities. Grace is outgoing and sociable, while I'm more introverted and reserved. She's the life of the party, always making new friends wherever she goes. I admire her ability to strike up a conversation with anyone, while I tend to be more cautious and observant. Despite these differences, our friendship remains strong and invaluable to me. Grace isn't just my best friend, she's like a sister to me. We've been through so much together over the years, the highs and the lows. No matter what life throws our way, I know I can always count on her. She's my rock, my confidant, and my constant source of laughter and joy. That is the end of our story. Now it's time to go over some of the vocabulary and interesting phrases used in the story. Decade. A period of 10 years. Sarah and Grace have been friends for over a decade, meaning they have known each other for more than 10 years. Struck up a conversation. To start a conversation with someone, often in a friendly manner. I struck up a conversation about the weather with another customer in the supermarket while we were waiting in the queue at the checkout counter. Mesmerizing. Captivating or fascinating. Holding someone's attention in a spellbinding way. The fireworks display on New Year's Day was mesmerizing. Swap. 
to exchange one thing for another. My sister and I often swap books so we can read each other's favorites. Culinary, related to cooking or the art of preparing food. Camden Market in London offers an amazing culinary experience. Comfort zone, a situation or environment where one feels safe, comfortable and confident. After years of working in the same job, I decided it was time to step out of my comfort zone and start my own business. Authentic, genuine, real or true to its origin or source. The art gallery showcases authentic paintings by renowned artists. Outgoing, sociable, extroverted and friendly, enjoying interacting with others. John is outgoing and easily makes new friends wherever he goes. Introverted, someone who is shy, quiet and prefers to spend time alone rather than often being with other people. I'm very introverted and feel more comfortable in quieter settings. Observant, paying close attention to details, often noticing things that others may overlook. I'm very observant and notice when my friend is feeling down even when she doesn't say anything. Invaluable. Extremely useful or valuable, often to the point where it cannot be measured in terms of money. Grace's friendship is invaluable to Sarah because she provides support and companionship through all of life's ups and downs. Confidant. A person you trust and share your feelings and secrets with. My mother has always been my confidant, whom I trust with my deepest thoughts and feelings. Well done for completing the second part. Now it's time to check your listening and understanding. I'm going to ask you a few questions about the story. Please answer the questions out loud so that you get to practice speaking. How long have Grace and Sarah known each other? Grace and Sarah have known each other for over a decade. Where did Sarah and Grace meet? They first met during their freshman year of college in an English literature class. What did Grace and Sarah talk about when they first met? They struck up a conversation about their favorite books. What do Sarah and Grace enjoy doing outdoors? They enjoy hiking in the mountains and strolling along the beach. Whose favorite book genre is mystery? Sarah. Sarah's favorite book genre is mystery. How does the story describe the difference in personalities between the two friends? Grace is outgoing and sociable, while Sarah is more introverted and reserved. Congratulations on getting to the end of this lesson. Remember to repeat the lesson a few times before moving on to the next one. This will help you to improve your English skills. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel. See you in the next lesson.